All right, so let's dive right in. Years back, one of my kids received their first cell phone. And of course, with receiving that cell phone, it came with a list of instructions like, keep the cell phone in your side pocket. Do not put the cell phone in your back pocket. And just like the typical teenager, we got a response like, oh my gosh, you said that six times already. I got it. But guess what? They put the cell phone in their back pocket and it got stolen. Being the good father that I am, I replaced the cell phone, but they got the same model phone that they had before. This same child wanted an upgrade from the phone that they originally had. You weren't responsible with the last iPhone that I gave you. What makes you think I'm going to spend more money on a phone that you may lose again? Now, don't get me wrong. I wanted to bless that particular child with a brand new phone. Of course I wanted to. That's what a father wants to do, right? But I needed to see if I could trust that child and their word that they would be more responsible with the last phone that they had. Matthew 25 and 21 says, His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will now make you ruler over many things. If we're honest, many of us are like that child when it comes to our purpose in God. Many of us want to be elevated and escalated up to the next level that God has for us, but we have yet to hold on to our promise and our obedience to God. What I'm trying to say is many of us want to get to step four, but we weren't obedient with step three, and we still on step three. Many of us want the next level, but we weren't obedient with what God said on the previous level. There's a reason I believe they call it a faith walk because you have to go step by step. You can't jump from step three to 12. In order to receive what God has for you, you have to complete each step, simple and plain. Now here's what I like. Each step, we ought to want to seek the voice of God saying, well done, thy good and faithful servant. But what I also like about that particular verse is it says, enter thou unto the joy of the Lord. The joy of feeling God smiling on you because you completed the previous task that was assigned to you is such an exhilarating feeling. So I'm just going to ask that you take a moment and analyze your life. Have you really been consistent with each step that God has for you? Or do you feel like you deserve better and that you should be pushed into the next step without completing the previous step? Peace.